Hi, this is Justin, and I'm going to show or walk through how to do full text searching of OneDrive documents from Windows. Now, the reason to do this is if you want to find text within documents, and your documents are on OneDrive up in the cloud, you'll find a bunch of people, uh, Windows users, who have complained that this feature is no longer available. At least it's no longer easily available, and Microsoft doesn't really document how to re-enable it. Uh, so, for example, here's a Microsoft community post, OneDrive no longer in the list of folders to index and indexing options. And I did find this suggestion here that does indeed work, but it wasn't very clear how to set it up. I got it working so I wanted to share how to get this working in Windows. Again, so you'll be watching this to set up a full text search of your documents that are up in the cloud on OneDrive. There's basically four steps to it. We have to set up the Windows indexer. We then have to set up the libraries, like the document library. We then have to change the OneDrive syncing. And finally, we get to do the actual document search, OK? Uh, if you want to know theoretically how this works, we'll get back to that in the end. But let's let's set it up first, the Windows Indexer. So if you're watching this, you probably know how to find this. But uh, for anyone who is just curious and they want to set this up for the first time, go to your Control Panel. So start Control Panel, type Index. It should be the first hit under Indexing Options. And this is the standard Windows Indexer. Uh, you can see I have 13,163 documents that are indexed. Yeah, pretty small, quite frankly. Libraries have huge amounts. Anyway, this is included in Windows. You shouldn't have to pay anyone any extra. When Microsoft won't charge you any extra. This is just included in, I think, since Windows 7, it might have been included. Anyway, Windows 10, Windows 11 should still have it. And what you'll see here is a way to modify the indexer. And basically what happens when you press modify, there's this index locations. And you'll probably at least see Windows, wherever you installed Windows. And you might see a couple others, like I have Outlook installed and OneNote installed. So those are uh, eligible to be enabled. Now, clicking show all locations, this button it used to uh, show OneDrive. OneDrive used to be listed here in the selected locations. It was removed. Uh, one of the builds of Windows 10, I think, removed it. And that's when a lot of people started complaining about where did my OneDrive uh, searching go? Microsoft refuses to fix this. So here's the workaround about how to re-enable it. What you'll do is you'll expand your Windows install, wherever your user directory is, which is usually under C users, C drive users, you'll expand that and you'll select your user. So someone else uses my box, uh, Jason, and there's another user default. Select your user. You need to know your username to do this. So select your user, expand it, and you'll see uh, a very similar list of what you might see in your file explorer or your navigator for your own box. You'll want to enable documents. So click enable this documents right here. That's the one that you want. And then you select OK. And it will add users documents uh, to the list of allowable. OK, that's the first step of setting it up. Now we have to add uh, documents, uh, the OneDrive, to our documents library. The way to do that is go to your File Explorer. So just open up a File Explorer, and you should see in your drop down list in your navigation, uh, you should see libraries. If you don't see libraries here in your nav, your main left nav, you probably disabled it at some point, so re-enable show libraries, expand libraries, and you'll see the documents library. Now, what exactly is a documents library? If you 
right click and select properties, you'll get a better idea of what the heck it is. It's just a collection of multiple different uh, areas or folders that you all you want them all to be put into a single collection. So this is the documents library. It's the collection of all your documents. Similarly, if you have music, I don't think I have any music. If you had multiple music folders, you'd add them all to your music library, right? Yeah, 504 bytes. I don't have any music on this box. So your documents library, right click under library documents, and you'll see I've got several OneDrives added here and another folder. Uh, so let's just pretend that you don't have this. Uh, you don't have at least your personal one set up. I have a, a college I used to go to. I have a work business account. I have a folder. But we want to add OneDrive. The way to do that is select the Add button. You'll then receive this pop-up window, which is similar to a file explorer, and you'll select the OneDrive that you want to add. Select the top level OneDrive. Don't descend into any other folders. At least I haven't tested that. Select the main top folder and simply press include folder. Now the OneDrive should appear in the list. It will say see users Justin or whatever your user your user uh, name is. All of them say that. All of them say your username. But it should reference back to your own OneDrive or whichever OneDrive you're using. And you can actually hover over it and see that I have 1.2 gig in this OneDrive. Whereas an, I think this other OneDrive is much larger. It doesn't even calculate how big it is. Okay, so you've added your OneDrive here. That's adding the OneDrive to the Documents Library. You'll hit Apply. You don't have to change anything else here. Just hit Apply. And OK. Right. Third step is to sync the OneDrive content locally. Now, the way I know that this works is you go to your OneDrive app. So I have three different OneDrives, as I said before. Go to the one that you're adding. You probably only have one. You right click the app from the taskbar and you select settings, the gear, and then settings. If you click the, um, if you if you search for OneDrive instead, I have found that that just opens up a file explorer, and that does not accomplish the same thing. So you need to open up the app that's in the taskbar. So again, go to your taskbar, go to the OneDrive that you're adding, the gear settings, right? Expand the advanced settings and under the bottom uh, files on demand, you'll select download all files. Now here is where it will actually tell you <clears throat> the amount of local space that will probably be consumed. So by downloading all my OneDrive, it will consume 3.8 gig on my PC. All right. It should give you an estimate of the size and you'll just need to check that you actually have that amount of space on your local machine. So you can do that by selecting this, this PC and checking the amount of free space that you have. So I have 79.2 gig free. I That is well under the 3.8 gig that it requires. So I'm going to press continue. All right. What will happen is another file explorer will pop open. This one is focused on the OneDrive that you added. And what you'll see happening is that the folders and files will start to have these green check boxes added to them. Now you may have different views. You may have views like this, really large icons, small icons, medium icons. It doesn't matter. You should start to see these green icons show up. All right. Uh, now, if you don't, uh, you may have to select, let me see if I can find a way to, uh, nope, there is another way, maybe someone will figure figure out which way, I think you can select a folder, ah, there it is, always keep on this device. So if you don't see the green checkbox for some reason, either it's not synced yet, 
or right click on the folder and look for this always keep on this device. They mean the same thing. The green checkbox means the keep on this device. What's happening is the OneDrive documents in the cloud are being synced to your machine. That is the third step in the process. Now you may be wondering, yeah, but that's the whole point of the cloud is to store my documents for me so I don't have to store them locally. Oh, yeah, true. But for the Windows indexer to work locally, to search for file content, it needs to have the files locally. So that's why we're, we're syncing all content locally. All right. Now, when that's complete and all of this is green, what you'll want to do is probably manually rebuild your index. Um, I'll show you how to do that. You go back into the index properties. You go to modify. Oops, excuse me, advanced and press this rebuild button after everything syncs. See, it may take a while for everything to sync. Uh, that is, everything turn green checkbox or keep on this device. Once you see everything is green, go to advanced under the index and select rebuild index. Now, I'm not going to rebuild mine because it's going to take it a while to go through 13,000 documents because uh, I want to show you that this does work. It works, and this is our, my fourth step for you, is you go to File Explorer, you search documents under Libraries Documents, and you'll get full text searching. So on File Explorer, select Libraries Documents and search for, let's say, uh, Bull Thistle, a common weed. Aha! The results should be near instantaneous, within a couple seconds. And the results should include more than just file names that match. So for example, this file name is Thistles, and it does match part of my search, but there's a whole bunch of other files that have nothing to do with their file name and bull or thistle, and they appear in the search. All right? That's what you should see. And if you right click on one of the results, you can select um, open file location. And you'll see that it's actually going to your OneDrive. It highlights the file that it found the phrase in. The full text search found both this in this file. And it was on OneDrive, right? So then you can open that file and double check that. If we search for bull thistle, Adobe doesn't use quotes. There it is, bull thistle. Ugh, go away. Bull thistle, Caesarium vulgara. All right. Now, if I were to force the search, I think that it might work. I'll demonstrate. Uh, a, a full text searching and how slow it is. If I force a search on OneDrive, I don't have an index. You could try that. I think this still works. You could type contents colon quote bull thistle. I think this still works. Yep. This is a forced full text search. This is what would normally happen. So just as a comparison, the search is happening in real time by doing the search as contents bull thistle. And you can see how long it's taking. It's going through each of the files on OneDrive and literally doing the search. And it's going to sit here and take forever. It will eventually get to the same results. But by searching in documents and just doing the phrase that you're looking for, you get instantaneous results. All right. So we went through the whole process. We did this, the document search as a full text search under libraries documents. We synced the content from OneDrive. We added the OneDrive to the documents library. And we added uh, user documents to the Windows indexer. And the way this works, and the way you can test that this works, is go to the File Explorer search, 
that search phrase will then go to the Windows indexer, pull up the index, find that searched phrase, find the location in the documents library, and then you can pull up the actual file in OneDrive. And for a final little test, if you want a final little test, you can prepend the contents search to anything and you can compare the speed. All right, I hope that someone found this beneficial and they're able to get the full text searching uh, working in Windows again, despite Microsoft basically getting rid of that option. Thanks. Put comments in. Hope you enjoyed.